Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, how y'all doing? You know, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am painting with some crazy art watercolors. And uh, I'm also going to be uh, doing some fan art. Fan art of Changbin from Stray Kids. Now, I know you're thinking, like, what the heck is a Changbin? And what the heck is a Stray Kid? His name is Changbin, and he's in a group called Stray Kids. This is K pop. Okay, I'm a K-pop fan. I like K-pop. Now, K-pop, for those who don't know, they're Korean popular music, specifically South Korea, because North Korea, they don't mess with nobody. So, South Korean popular music. So, with these groups, usually it consists of, a, you know, all boy groups or all girl groups. There's some mixed groups, too. Um, and then they have about five to eight members they're all different though okay so they're not gonna all fit into the categories now this guy right here he's he's a he's a buff guy so as you can see i got the power pose on deck got the big hands that's the cartoony version of it you know what i'm saying gotta get the he's like the tank of the group if, if they were playing DD &D or something you know so yeah, he, he was formerly in a group called Three Racha. He's a rapper, singer, songwriter. He was in a group with his other bandmates, Bang Chan and Han. But now their whole group is in Stray Kids as of 2018. Now, Stray Kids is an eight member group, including those three. So we got Han Jin, Han, Felix. Bang Chan, Sung Min, Lino, I N, and Chang Bin. Now Chang Bin, he's my, he's not my bias, but he's my bias for record. Now bias is a term that K-pop fans use as they say their favorite member. And the bias record is the member who is almost their favorite, but got beat out by their favorite. But these things are not to take away from the other members or the whole group. It's just a matter of who stole the attention for that person. I like them all, but these two, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna name the other one because you're gonna see who that is. But Benny is my bias record, second place. Benny, he's a thick guy. He's a really buff guy, which in K-pop is a rare thing because the standard is very skinny, which he used to be, but now he's different. A glow up, some might say. Now there's nothing wrong with being skinny, but there's also nothing wrong with getting thick if you can. If you can't, that's totally fine. Be you. But yeah, and I, I say all this to say, when I'm following the dance practices, you know, I'm a thick guy. So it's easier to follow the thick guy when I'm following the dance practice so I can do the thing better. I follow a skinny guy and it's kind of, it's not going to work that well. So, first off, his bars are amazing. He's so powerful. His dancing has lots of attitude. His fits are fire as heck. And he got that stage presence, boy. When the stage is, is empty and there's no sound, and he come in with the bar, the straight heat, boy. You can't even tell me, you can't tell me that you don't like that. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, when he raps, he raps with so much power. And that's why I decided to draw him with these big hands and cartoony style uh, for specifically this outfit though I, I, I'm not, I couldn't find where it was from so if you know where it's from please you know, hit me up in the comments let me know but I, I thought it was from Frost but I was wrong because I looked it up and he had a regular vest on this vest is more like a like a I don't know I don't know what it looked like but it don't look like a regular vest it's more wrapped around, you know? I 
Also, when I'm doing these portraits, I always try to make the likeness. I get the likeness right so you people know who it is. You know, nose placement, eyes, mouth, size, hair. Things that make a person look like the person. These same techniques are used dramatically by like caricature artists. So it's like exaggerated features, but I kind of exaggerate them a little bit, but not really. I didn't make it look like them. Now, moving on to these crazy art watercolors. I was, I was surprised, honestly, how bright they were and how good they was. I ran into a little problem, but we'll get to that later. The brush was actually nice too. Look at this thing. It is, it's not crusty and hard like that other one. I was surprised because it looked like one of those ugly plastic thick bristle brush that, you know, I had in that Dollar Tree one, but it was not. It was softer and, and gentle. But it still was bad because I used my other brush, my one I usually use, and I got more color out of it. This paints, watch this. Look at that. Uh, you see that there? Wow. It, it does actually make a difference what brush you use when you're painting watercolor or any painting for that matter. Uh, but unfortunately, the, the bad one was, it came with the, the paints. So, you know, hopefully you don't get too frustrated by the the brush. Now, when I was mixing these colors, they, they were pretty good. But here's the problem that I ran into. The brown was more of an orange, and the black was more of a brown. So I had to use a lot of dark layers to really get that dark. But the light layers, that I could just do one or two layers of that, and it would look fine. Plus, it was a little a little stingy on the mid-tones.
I kept I kept a simple white background with a small shadow just for simplicity. Then I did my inking. And then after I recorded it, I realized how bad of an angle it was because you can't even see anything but my hand. But, you know, whatever. We live, we learn, and we fix it after that, you know? Anyway, here is the final painting. I hope you liked it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and, uh, and subscribe. Or you can get looked at by Twicky himself. <laughs>